Hello, this is Mary Dubler, bringing you the story of Lilius Trotter, who was a missionary to Algeria for 38 years. This is part one. Which passion will prevail? Lilius was born in London in 1853 to Alexander and Isabella Trotter. Lilius's father died when she was 12, and as a result, she learned to lean on her heavenly father now that her papa was gone. Her mother Isabella encouraged Lilius to be involved in local missions outreaches and also to develop her extraordinary natural artistic gift. When Lilius was 23, her artistic ability was noticed by John Ruskin, a noted artist and critic who was the voice of the art world in his day. He took Lilius under his wing, tutoring her in England and helping her refine her skill. He could foresee for her a great future in the art world. After three years under Ruskin's tutelage, he became frustrated that she was distracted from her art. She was spending too much time in the streets of London and not enough time with her paint. Ruskin told her that if she would devote herself to art, she would, quote, be the greatest living painter and do things that would be immortal, unquote. Lilius was faced with a very difficult decision. She realized that she had two passions, two all-consuming passions competing in her life, art and ministry. She knew that it was not possible to be wholly consumed twice. She could not give herself completely to two so distinctly different masters. However, she realized that it was possible for one of the passions to become the master over the other. Which should it be? For several days, Lilius prayed for God to make his calling on her life clear. She loved art and her ability to paint beautiful scenes, and she knew it was possible for God to use her in that world. But in the end, she said, quote, I see as clear as daylight now I cannot give myself to painting in the way that Ruskin means, and continue still to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, unquote. Now she was free to allow her passion of ministry to flourish. She enjoyed her art as a gift, not as a passion. Little did Lilius realize that the skills in ministry God was developing in her would be used for years in Algeria. Her training ground was the streets of London and the YWCA, and she was also influenced by the preaching of Dwight L. Moody. She grew in faith and strength, especially in the matter of prayer, and more and more her heart's desire was to see people touched and changed by Christ. Lilius wrote, There should be neither undergrowth nor overgrowth, but balanced growth. Spiritual equilibrium alone will bring forth much fruit both in us and in others. We were created for more than our own spiritual development. Reproduction, not mere development, is the goal to mature. Reproduction in others' lives. God would soon take her to North Africa, where she would share the light of the gospel in a very dark place. Many years after she decided to pursue ministry over art, she realized even more strongly the importance of focusing on Jesus, rather than all the good things he gives us. She wrote, Never has it been so easy to live in half a dozen good, harmless worlds at once. Art, music, social science, games, motoring, the following of some profession, and so on. And between them we run the risk of drifting about, the good hiding the best. It is easy to find out whether our lives are focused, and if so, where the focus lies. Where do our thoughts settle when consciousness comes back in the morning? Where do they swing back when the pressure is off during the day? Dare to have it out with God and ask Him to show you whether or not all is focused on Christ and His glory. How do we bring things to a focus in a world of optics? Not by looking at the things to be dropped, but by looking at the one point that is to be brought out. Turn your soul's vision to Jesus and look at Him, and a strange dimness will come over all that is apart from Him. When Lilius Trotter turned her soul's vision to Jesus, he led her on a path to North Africa, where she would be a missionary for 38 years. Please listen to part two of Lilius Trotter to learn about her experiences in Algeria. This is Mary Dubler, and I hope you've enjoyed part one of The Life of Lilius Trotter.